Tension increases over separation of undocumented families on the southern border and beyond. The Salt Lake City School District is taking a stand, denouncing that practice and vowing to protect its students from unwarranted immigration enforcement at school. ABC 4's Andrew Reeser shows us why the district is making this bold move. Board members tell us they don't want worry over immigration custom enforcement to distract undocumented students from their education anymore. Upholding its 2017 safe school resolution, the Salt Lake City School Board announced Tuesday that unless ICE officials have a signed warrant by a judge, no student, no matter their immigration status, should worry about action taken while they're at school. A fear board member Nate Salazar says is real for the district's majority minority student body. I believe our students and our families need to know that their school district is by their side. The district vowed to not ask students about their immigration status or that of their families and denounced recent federal action of separating undocumented families. We are scared for my family that if we're going to be like separate, I don't know what's going to happen. That's Suhe Rodriguez's biggest fear. I, I feel safe here. Mexico is not safe for my kids. Yeah, a lot of violence, yeah. She says both she and her husband are undocumented immigrants, and she fears one or both of them could be deported, separating them from their kids. Rodriguez applauds the district's commitment to kids, and Salazar says while ICE tends to tread lightly around enforcing the laws at schools, the district is working to figure out what their process will be to help any of their students that could be separated from family members. I believe if diverse families, if immigrant refugee families know that diversity is celebrated, that really alleviates some of these fears and concerns that we have. In Salt Lake City, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News.